Hello my lovelies, it's Jam from the Sydney Swanner. I am back again. I did grow a little bit MIA because my life still got in the way to the point where I was just like a salty little mess. And as you can see that affected my end of season. I ended up finishing last. Ouch. However, new team, new MVP and a lot can change so this time we are going to come back and like a talon flame rise from the ashes and brave bird these fuckers so this is an overview of my new team as you can see i haven't chosen anyone again that was completely deliberate just because i wanted to change things and make them feel more like my normal gameplay rather than something new like i did the first time and hopefully it'll pay off for me I've tried to make this really well balanced in terms of stats and in terms of having things like clerics priority hazards has been big as well and just trying to make it how I play a little bit better now to introduce my team properly first we have Celesteela or I like to call Nokia 3310 in memory of the amazing brick phone that I have had and many of us have had. And like the phone, it is a brick. You can get stuck behind it, you can get stalled out by it, and it can be in a general annoyance for a team. I am really excited because I use Celestilla quite a lot outside of draft in a range of ways obviously i have my favorites but it's fun to kind of mix up and plus base boost is a pain for anyone that is not on the same side of it there is issues though obviously it has weaknesses to thunder and fire which there is a lot of fast thunder types uh, why did i just say thunder types Electric types, just ignore me. Um, and fire types, obviously there's a few fast boys. And then also it can get outstalled if I go that way because it can't do a lot when you use a stally set other than just, you know, get back what it was losing. So that's always a possibility. Fingers crossed though that I can use it to its full potential. Now we have the true god. For this pick I was actually going to go Zoroa, however it got sniped after being told that it wouldn't, which is fine. I ended up with something better. So I was wanting Zoroa for a speedy mon, but ended up choosing the faster option that is also the mega, that is also got trace, that has also got serious special attack levels and is just a god because Alakazam has Allah in it. The thing with Mega Alakazam though is it is pretty frail. There is not a lot that it can kind of keep up once it gets damaged and it just has to basically rely on outspeeding and just destroying everything. <laughs> Um, so I will have to be careful of things like Sucker Punch, Shadow Sneak, any priority and Choice Scarf if someone brings that. So just really cautious of that outspeeding or having lots of damage done to it. Time for Caldeo, the Water Horse as I like to call him. I chose Caldeo because I wanted something that's going to be really nice to taking on dark types um, and taking on the fire types, taking on the stuff that I fear in Mega Alakazam. So that's why I chose Caldeo. Obviously it's got some pretty nice stats, it can set up Calm Mind, it's got a substitute set, but there is the issue that I'm adding another electric um, weakness to my team and 
I'm also adding the flying weakness, which, as you'll see later on, is a bit of a big one for me. Next, we have my favorite grass type. It is shaman or flower hedgy. I have shortened it to flower because flower hedgy is too big for showdown. Sad. So I've chosen shaman because I just really love using it. It's something I can use quite well. I love seed flare. I love that you can use it offensively or as a cleric. And it's just, like I said, I just love using a flower. So I'm just going to keep doing that. The only issue though is flying again. And then it can sometimes just grow into that support role every week, despite the power that it has. And I don't want anything to hit it because it's precious. So I tend to put it into a cleric position. So I'm just going to have to kind of think outside the box a little bit more. And that's going to be potentially scary and downfall. But fingers crossed, it is not. Now for another favorite I use quite often. Don Fan, which I have called the Don Fanatic rep because Don Fanatic, obvious reason. I've chosen Don Fan because I, like I said, I do use him often, so I know how to use him quite well. I has priority, which is really nice. It's got rapid spins, so something really, really desperately needed on my team. As much as you might not think, I just don't like hazards. Um, and also it sets up rocks, it's got a nice attack stat, it's just a really good one to have. The only thing is I can get someone that just uses up my sturdy and then I'm like, well, I've got to suck it off, so it can happen that way. Um, but fingers crossed nothing hits it that much and it can put a lot more stuff in before it dies. Now we have Blaziken or 420. Obviously that can be taken multiple ways but I am still going to say that it's PG. So I chose Blaziken because I needed something, I needed a mixed attacker for my fire type because Arcanine got sniped, NC got sniped, and I just needed something that was going to add the attack stat as well. So that's why I chose Blaziken. So it can obviously get rid of the grass, um, fire <laughs> needed on my team. But again, it doesn't like birds. It can hide you and fall on its face and get ruined and I can't use speed boost so it is a little bit of a tough choice to make but fingers crossed that the investment of Blaziken pays off and it doesn't go badly. Now I have Diancy. I have named it after the rock when he rolled in the True Fairy, so that's what I have called it. The reason I chose Deoncy is because Nega Deoncy was a choice of mine, but in the end I got Mega Alakazam, so I couldn't do that. And, Meg and normal Deoncy is pretty bulky already. It gets Stealth Rocks, it can Diamond Storm, and it can potentially set up too, which is something I like. The only thing is it's two times weak to iron, it doesn't like ground, and I just gotta hope that nothing kills it. But it's definitely gonna be helpful in taking on the birds and that kind of weakness that I have on my team. Next we have Guzzlord, or as I would like to call, Daddy, because look at that dad board. So I have chose him. I'm not actually used to him, which is a bit of a hindrance. So I'm still kind of working out what he's going to do for my team. But I chose because 
I needed a duck type on my team. I needed something that's going to resist a few things. And I needed something that can Z move, beast boost, and then I am set to, you know, a bulky win condition. So that's why I chose him, because that HP stat is high. The things to look out for though is obviously fairies because that's twice weak and despite the HP stat, its defense stats are tiny. It's kind of like giant Hariyama. And also the fact that I'm not used to using him, so I'm going to have to really learn how to make him work to my playstyle. Now for Articuno, or the Ice Queen. I'm really excited to use Articuno because for some reason it just worked really well for my team and fits quite nicely. Obviously for the sake of ice type I definitely need because all these flying types on teams are kind of scary. And I also feel like it's underrated. Its stats are nice. It can be a bit of pain if it just keeps, for example, on the substitute set, it keeps subbing, roosting, you know, that can wear down a team quite easily. Only thing is, it doesn't like iron. It doesn't like rock times two. And as long as, like, for some teams, it can just be obliterated and shut down. So I've just got to be really careful of that. And I've also got to hopefully make a few new ideas outside just your current set. Which I think I can do. Maybe. <laughs> and now for Zeb Striker or Usain Bolt. So I've chose this for the speed start for the fact that it is a physical electric type. So it does get flare blitz, it gets the wild charge. So that's something I really quite like on a team. I know I'm going quite physical. But that's just because I've got quite a lot of really high special types and I want a good mix. So he's also my Z mover, so a few Z wild charges, flare blitzes, etc. etc. On top of things like Sap Sipper, even though and Lightning Rod and those kinds of Abilities make it even better because then I've got a weakness, like any weaknesses I can get that covered. The only thing is, it's if it gets outsped, it's going to die. Um, basically, so any priority stuff, just like Mega Alakazam, it's going to be a little bit more on the frail side. Now for Gengar, or as I have called the Joker. So. I quite like Mega Alakazam Gengar as a little bit of a jewel, and Gengar just seems like such a nice fit on my team because I need that poison resist, like I need a poison resistance if I lose a rapid spinner and someone sets up taste bites, like it's great just to switch in a poison type and get rid of them. But then also, Gengar is fast and it's got a great special stat to it so I can just get rid of the things that Mega Alakazam can come in and do and just basically work really nicely for a special core. So it just works really nicely. The thing is though it can no longer levitate which is sad because it can die to ground cries and so any any hits it can't take as well. Um, and then also, I was going to call it Trump, but Donald Trump ruined that name and I'm kind of, kind of salty. Next is my Taurus horoscope. I chose this last because I just needed something there. I needed a normal type for ghost types because now I have Gengar. And it also has sheer force, which is fun. And intimidate, which is also even better. The only thing is, I'm not really used to it. It's kind of B grade, 
kind of frail, ready to bail, but it's fast. So we'll see how I use it. Fingers crossed it works out okay. So that is my team. Hopefully you like how it's going to set up, how it's going to feel, and you can get behind it. If not, let me know. Tell me what your draft would have been with my team. Tell me where I went wrong, and I won't judge you for it. But fingers crossed what I chose works out for me. So this is who I'm versing. In week one, I am versing the San Antonio Victory Bells. Week two, the Brighton Bulls. Week three, Munchex United. Week four, the Parisons. Week five, West Chen United. Week six, Cleveland Bros. Week seven, National Predators. Week eight, the Jagermeisters. Week nine, the Birmingham Spritzy. Week ten, the Thundering Herdia. Week eleven, the De Brent. Uh, I'm sorry, the Denver Bronzong. Week twelve, Miami Marlins. Week thirteen, Wellington Ho. -O. Week fourteen, Crystal Paris. And finally, week 15, Jacksonville Jolteons. And that's all before the playoffs. So fingers crossed we beat them all and we get to the top and we get into the playoffs. So that's it for now. Obviously, our chances of winning aren't the highest because of my ability. I am a terrible player half the time. However, I have got a team I'm going to be hopefully more used to or can find my un unique style for. So that'll give me a little bit more of a chance. But they are slim. When not likely to make the playoffs. But let's do this. Let's beat them. Let's show everyone wrong. Let's go tell and frame on them asses. I am Jem. And I am going to leave you now. Bye.